Seahorses are found in both tropical and temperate waters all around the world and are arguably one of the most unique looking fish that exist. Ranging in length from under an inch to more than a foot, there are more than 40 known species of these endangered bony fishes. One of the unique facts about seahorses is that they don't have any teeth or stomach. Since they don't have any teeth, they simply suck in their food and swallow them whole. Thus, their prey needs to be very small. Primarily, they feed on planktons, small fish and small crustaceans such as shrimps and copepods. The lack of a stomach also means that the structure of their digestive system is very unique. Seahorses have a very rapid digestive process and they need to eat almost constantly because food quickly passes straight through their digestive system. While an adult seahorse will eat 30 to 50 times per day, baby seahorses can eat up to 3000 pieces of food per day. Our body has about 5.6 liters of blood and usually an adult heart pumps about 5 liters of blood per minute at rest. When we are running or exercising however, our heart may pump 3 to 4 times that amount to make sure our body gets enough oxygen and fuel. Red blood cells are an important part of the blood and the human circulatory system. They are produced in the bone marrow and transport fresh oxygen throughout the body and eliminate carbon dioxide from our body. In addition, red blood cells also take nutrients, proteins and hormones all around the body in all places where they are needed. They have a lifetime of 120 days before they die and our body makes new ones. It also takes less than 20 seconds for a red blood cell to circulate throughout our body. Unlike wind waves that affect just the surface of the ocean, tsunamis move through the entire depth of the ocean from the surface to the floor. So the speed of a tsunami depends on the depth of the water it is traveling through. The deeper the water, the faster the tsunami. Tsunami waves also move at great speeds and have tremendous energy. Large tsunamis can move across entire oceans. In the deep ocean, tsunamis can move as fast as a jet plane at speeds of over 500 miles per hour and can cross entire oceans in less than a day. Their wavelength, which is the distance from crest to crest, may also be hundreds of miles. Avocados are climacteric fruits, meaning they only ripen after being picked. Ripening occurs when enzymes such as pectinase and amylase break down starches and pectin, which softens and sweetens the fruit. Another factor that is essential in fruit ripening is ethylene, a naturally occurring gas that triggers and promotes the ripening process. Some fruits such as apples and bananas produce even more ethylene gas than other climacteric fruits. Climacteric fruits like avocado produce much more ethylene than non-climacteric fruits, which cannot ripen once removed from the plant. Once avocados are harvested, the respiration rate will increase due to the production of ethylene by the fruit itself. This process is inhibited while the avocado is still on the tree. Therefore, avocados won't ripen while still on the tree. Due to its nature, farmers also use avocado trees as storage house for up to 7 months after they reach full maturity. This is the reason avocados are always in season.
There are many species of fish that can see infrared light. Salmon and some other freshwater fish have an enzyme that allows them to switch their visual systems to activate infrared vision, which helps them to navigate and hunt in murky waters. Other species of fish such as goldfish, piranha and cichlid can also see infrared light. In goldfish, however, their eyesight is very highly developed and is thought to be superior to humans. In fact, goldfish can see both infrared and ultraviolet light. There are several spacecrafts in the space right now that have enough velocity to escape the boundary of our solar system and travel into interstellar space. NASA's New Horizons space probe which is traveling at speeds of 36,000 miles per hour already flew past Pluto in 2015 and is right now exploring the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune. The inactive spacecrafts Pioneer 10 and 11 are on their way as well. The Voyager 1 space probe, however, has already crossed the solar boundary. Since its launch more than 40 years ago in 1977, Voyager 1 has been traveling the outer space non-stop. It crossed the heliopause and entered interstellar space in 2012, flying through the dark void on a mission unlike anything attempted before. At a distance of 158.79 astronomical units, or 14.760 billion miles from Earth, it is the most distant man-made object from Earth. Another spacecraft, Voyager 2 launched on the same year will likely be the next to achieve this journey as well. Both spacecrafts are still in contact with NASA's Deep Space Network. Have you ever gone outside after a rainstorm and noticed a certain smell in the air? That pleasant smell is called petrichor, which comes from a combination of plant oils, bacteria and ozone. Plants release oils that have gathered over dry periods, primarily in plant leaves. These oils settle into the rocks or soil and are mixed and released when disturbed by the rain. The airborne oils then combine with geosmin, a metabolic byproduct of soil dwelling gram positive bacteria called actinomycetes, which are also released into the air when drops of water hit the ground. Finally, ozone, the molecule made up of three oxygen atoms bonded together, also plays a role in the smell, especially after thunderstorms. A molecule called capsaicin is responsible for the heat found in hot papers. This molecule irritates mammals but birds do not feel the burning sensation because they do not have the receptor for this effect. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.